Uh, you know this uh, new trend that is there in India, it's the boycott trend. Any, so funny, any new movie, even before it comes out, boycott the movie, hashtag boycott the movie. Um, I think uh, it has gained momentum after Amir Khan's Lal Singh Chadda. Okay. And uh, now they are trying other movies and I don't know, other movies, other actors. And uh, how people are going about in India is, they are digging up the past 3 years, 5 years, sometimes even 10 years, 11 years. They will try to find out something, something which they don't like. Then they will hype it up, make it larger than life, uh, add some false narratives and then, you know, hashtag boycott so and so. Like uh, in the case of Amir Khan's movie, uh, he's an anti-national, he's anti-Hindu, he's anti-Indian, he is uh, supporting Pakistan, uh, you know, can keep going on, okay. And then he took a photograph with this person of this political party, he took a photograph with this person from this country, okay. So what do I think about this? What do I think? You know, my my mind and my thoughts go to the time when the Michael Jackson was there. I don't know how many of you know Michael Jackson, but he was the legend in my time, the 80s. Goodness, he was like uh, the Elvis of the uh, you know 70s. He he was like a god. Uh, I mean, he was that, he, his talent, his skill, his songs, his dance, like this, you know, once in a lifetime, not, not a generation, once in an entire lifetime, like, it's not just lifetime, it's not just generation, there might never be another Michael Jackson. Now, when Michael Jackson was alive, <coughs> People used to enjoy his music and love his dance sequence, his entertainment, his contribution to the industry. He was incredible, okay? Oh, fuck. Look at this, look at this. Ooh, that was something. Nice snake. Ooh. Ah, that was scary enough. Good I saw that. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Rare one. Good thing it was small. If it was big, maybe I'll run away. <laughs> anyway, shy creatures. Good thing they are shy. If someone came charging towards me, like the Anaconda movie. Oh. Ah. Okay. So, when Michael Jackson was there, they loved his contribution, they loved his music and all that. But like this, you know, familiarity breeds contempt. Very soon, they started focusing on Michael Jackson is weird. He sleeps in an oxygen chamber. He puts a mask. <laughs> he used to put masks those days. He has facial surgery. Uh, he is from the aliens. He comes from the alien race and all sorts of weird stuff. And they would constantly harass this guy. Then obviously, you know, sexual I saw, uh, you know, sexual charges. Uh, he tried to molest me, did this, did that. And if you see the documentary, in that Michael Jackson says that uh, it uh, ruined his peace of mind, could not sleep. People who knew him, who were close to him, said uh, he could not eat, he could not sleep. His life became miserable. And uh, very soon he resorted to painkillers. He paid the money so that he wouldn't have to go through all the hassle. But then after one came another one, then came another one. In, in fact, uh, McEuclin Culkin, the kid he used to always hang around the most, who's featured in black and white, black or white. He said, no, Michael Jackson didn't have any such thing. <sighs> okay, I know what some of you will say. 
yeah he was a pedophile he was this not proven right see example i'll i'll give us very simple thing let's say i make a claim against you that you are a rapist or a pedophile you need to prove it right in india itself how many females make claims rape and molested and this and that we need to find out that either it was mutual or she is trying a revenge attack now i'm not trying to justify pedophiles and rapists there are plenty of them who should be not just punished castrated physically uh, and chemically and named and shamed and left in society however for michael jackson let's let's focus on this now these people kept criticizing him kept those days there was no facebook no twitter no this thing but they kept at it kept at the tabloids the media the newspapers that was famous those days every day a new report they kept at it until one day michael jackson died died because of a slight overdose now here's a funny thing after he died everyone stopped all the critics all the haters everyone went about their own business there was not a single noise about michael jackson did this or michael jackson did that when he was alive they were at it after he died they were at peace the same thing happened with bill clinton yes he was guilty with monica lewinsky but as long as he was in the position of power and he was uh up there they rallied against him left right and center without even having a look at his record what did he do for the country in fact if you search do a little bit of google search it is only during the presidency of bill clinton that the deficit nearly you know become zero he is the only president you can correct me if i'm wrong he is the only president but the critics only focused on the bad until he was gone what i've noticed now is uh, if you are talented if you are gifted if you are having something there are so many haters so many critics and these people who are critics see what does it take to be a critic nothing you just need to have a internet connection smartphone free app uh this is shit boycott this like the person who's criticizing can you do something can you create something can you make something worthwhile even for me as a critic when i criticize a movie or it's very easy for me to do that oh this movie was not good this acting was pathetic this but then if i have to do it i can assure you it'll be much more worse like for example i'm being very transparent about it i i absolutely cannot stand shahrukh khan's acting and being specific here huh? shahrukh khan's acting but as a businessman unbelievable has a brand nothing but you have to bow down he is a legend but his acting i'm not a big fan <laughs> all this quivering lips and this and that in fact i don't even like uh, the choice of his movies uh, i don't know maybe he has made some nice movies some people have said but uh, see he caters to the indian audience you know all his <laughs> ridiculously funny movies it's over the top for me it, it doesn't gel uh, if you ask me a movie like uh, the lunch box i think lunch box uh, oh unbelievable i like uh, movies with a strong show even amir khan i love that guy i think his movies are great but lal singh chadda i you'll not believe i managed to get a pirated copy uh through my groups i struggled i actually struggled to see the first uh, uh 10 minutes really i struggled uh, i'll give you my review later on but at least in my case i'm being fair about it i love amir khan i love his movies but if he does or creates a movie which is not good i'll criticize that i'll be fair and i'll give my reasons why as a audience as a as a member of the audience who's you know 
would pay money to watch a movie okay agreed this one was pirated <coughs> but where my bone of contention is even before the movie is released even before why are you boycotting it you know i'll i'll tell you just go behind the scenes of lal singh chadda the making of lal singh chadda i love watching those behind the scenes how they made the movie oh goodness it's unbelievable the the effort is herculean it is unbelievable you know in every of those shots where amir khan is running okay he took his crew of a hundred people his entire crew of a hundred people to every location just can you calculate that the cost for travel the cost for stay the cost for food the logistics the machinery i mean it's unbelievable it's you're spending millions you know just try just try doing that they just simple you and your family go for a holiday and think you're going to 10 different places where you have to meet 10 different people even a simple holiday for that you'll have to make sure you have everything right i mean uh, i have nothing but respect for the guy from the cgi to the movie to the uh, shooting okay agreed i don't like the movie now let me give you a movie which many uh, many were criticizing but hindu nationals or indian nationals they were supporting what is the name uh, that kashmir files now many people were saying this is anti muslim and uh, whatever i looked at it i watched the movie with an open mind and i felt that was a brilliant movie it was fantastic it was it was unbelievable it was a masterpiece that will remain for ages however i did have one bone of contention in the entire movie the muslims are portrayed as all the evil bad guys like muslim and islam is portrayed in such a negative manner there is not a single good muslim in that there is not a single good maybe there is a side character whom nobody will pay attention to uh, th- that was wrong but i gave my honest opinion but otherwise i i literally told every single person you need to watch this movie unbelievable i love the movie i really did but did you did i engage in boycott this movie boycott that movie no give people a chance man in fact let me ask you a very simple thing here's a simple question these very people who are supporting the movie kashmir files i have some of those clowns in my group okay young boys and men and whatever so they were saying kashmir files is a revolution it's not a movie it's a revolution it will revolutionize the world and this and that and oh we need to stand up for the kashmir pandits the hindus and this and that big talk they were giving big talk oh we will fight against the jihadis the islamists the pakistanis the porkistanis and this and that they went on okay now here's a funny thing after the movie slowly you know died out made its money and died out now if you ask them what about the kashmir pandits they are not bothered did you contribute any money to the kashmir pandits did you help them in any way why don't you tweet something about them in fact they don't even bother to read anything about them they don't know whether they are suffering whether they are happy they are taken care of nothing but when the movie was trending oh my goodness you would say that uh, these guys would be ready to die for the die for india that much of fervor oh how many posts how many messages in my group kashmir files this kashmir we have to fight and this and that now nobody is bothered that uh, director and anupam kher oh so much they spoke kashmir pandits this kashmir pandits that made money now where are they are they helping kashmir pandits every month are they contributing it's like politics you know 
I will do this, I will do that if you elect me. But after election, forget it. Uh, we'll try to balance it out. See, I'll I'll just tell you this. The agreed that everyone has a right to their opinion. I'm not saying you should not. Agreed that you can choose to watch a movie or not watch a movie, fine. But when you give uh, power, power in the hands of ignorant, arrogant, uneducated, sheep mentality, uh, low self-esteem, woke, uh, you know, the woke crowd or the woke community, who for anything and everything say, I'm offended. I find this offensive. The self-righteous mass who literally, you know, blind follow the blind. If you give them power, you know, the country or the company is headed for disaster. You know, if you start having every politician, every movie director, every individual, every single human being on this planet, try to please everyone, you will end up getting the most horrible, horrible, horrible product. And the best proof of this, anyway, the announcement for the fruit and vegetables. Let me go the opposite way. So I don't have to listen to them. They also have to do their work, right? Like I'm doing mine. See, I'll, I'll give you a simple example. Just check the Marvel, Marvel Universe. Ever since they came out with these movies, uh, the new Marvel, where they made everyone woke, where they made one guy is LGBTQ. Most, oh, one person is from Pakistan, one person is from India, one person is Latino, one person is transgender. One. Simply putting people for the sake of being catering to the woke audience. What happened? What happened to Eternals? Mega flop. What happened? Uh, they made what? Superman or Superman gay? <laughs> From when did uh, fictional characters have a sexuality, man? They are discussing about even cartoon characters, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, are they LGBTQ and... Why? Why is all this happening? Because you're trying to please everyone. And if you do that, no, you're going to end up, uh, forget, with substandard products and services. People who can really make a difference, they will not, they'll not want to be there or create anything. Like, for example, let's say there's a movie director or someone who wants to make an amazing movie. He'll think, okay, if I make this movie, They'll hashtag boycott this, boycott that. Is it worth the headache? After all the sacrifice, everything else Amir Khan did. You don't want to watch the movie, don't. Boycott for what? Oh, he hurt a uh, Hindu sentiment. Uh, he made that character dress up like Shiva. You uh, know, a bunch of... Uh, I don't know, even to call you pussies, it's insulting pussies, you know. It's like a bunch of what? I don't know what. Pathetic human beings here. And if you watch the, the the people who are, like when they take the video, they take the interview and they are asking, uh, excuse me, what did you think? Just look at that individual. Uh, well, we have to buy cut, we have to buy cut. Uh, kachara picture. You didn't even, it's not even fucking released, man. What the fuck are you talking here? <laughs> You know, the people who criticize me, some of them, like just today, uh, after I put that video about uh, uh, what, 13 reasons not to marry an Indian man, one guy, one guy, he says, have you seen your face? Okay. So I asked him, have you seen yours? <laughs> I mean, the, he's talking about my face. Okay. I look like this. Has he seen his? He... According to him, according to him, he is God's gift to mankind. That's at least what he feels. Or he might feel like, mm, I look smart, my mooch, 
my mustache very good my hair very good man you look like uh, uncle mahesh you know with your pot belly ah uh, uh, hello hello <laughs> just typing tick 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 yeah you seen your face like in hindi tera chehra dekha hai iska chehra man seen your bloody face one guy he had a youtube channel he is speaking from a dilapidated house from a bedroom with his clothes banyan and underwear hanging i don't know he whether he could notice that or not and hello friends hello friends welcome to my channel uh, uh today i i give uh, uh, how how did i come across this channel he sat and gave a bloody big rant about my channel saying that your pe- your shit your subscribers is low he has i think 83 subscribers no sorry 83 views the highest and he has around i think 12 subscribers with 83 views four videos but he'll go on and criticize me <sighs> see these uh, people who get offended now people who they're all small minds i'm telling you this and i don't respect those individuals this boycott this boycott that i seriously don't respect those individuals because as it is they are not accomplished anything in life neither they will nor they are of any use to society nor do they contribute anything but they want to be keyboard warriors boycott oh boycott oh come come boycott boycott you know i i can assure you this if twitter and facebook and all who charge a dollar per month just a dollar most of these clowns majority maybe 50 60% would vanish and if you charge money per tweet you can be rest assured only companies will do that none of these idiots will because they are free loaders they want everything for free no anyway all i want to tell you through this video is we need to we are indians i'm focused only on the indian market i think you need to stop this boycott bullshit let artists create something watch it give them an opportunity whether it's brahma rashtra or uh, eh, don't boycott a bloody movie man don't boycott a person or let them say their piece give them a platform let them do their thing watch it and after you have watched it give a balanced review you can say this is a crap movie but just by saying crap movie at least give some okay i didn't like the story line i didn't like the characterization i do not know even if half the people have the intelligence to articulate their thoughts other than saying eh bagwas picture yaar can you articulate something more than that bagwas picture means it's a total crap movie when you have uneducated masses labor class mentality rupee earning individuals who have access to twitter and oh boycott this boy it's a pathetic uh, state of affairs why do you think so many people with so much of talent and skill they are leaving india so many why because of this this stupid cancel culture this woke crowd this boycott this and boycott that or i'm offended or oh, this is offensive or oh, i'll file a fir now for amir khan he has an fir on oh one doctor said he is insulting disabled people one other guy said oh he is insulting the army one other guy said he is insulting uh, uh, punjabis it's a work of fiction my dear friend fiction it's not supposed to be the actual recruitment process for the army this is not a factual this is a story which was taken from the you know american movie just say that uh, i didn't find this convincing okay then you shouldn't watch uh, brahma rashtra or you shouldn't watch what do you call that uh, marvel universe you should say this is not real how can you have a super power how you can have a hammer how you can turn green you should say all that this is not realistic right yes yeah, selective selective oh i'll say bad about this but i'll ignore this that's a double standards of our indians anyway this is what i wanted to say about this boycott nonsense i think people should boycott these idiots only boycott yourself 
I think that would be the best solution. Just boycott, you know, tattoo the boycott thing on your forehead and be the boycott person. Seriously. Anyway, this is all I wanted to share. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please take care. Ciao.